Hello everyone, Cheek here with another Transformers review, and today I will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Prime Universe Dreadwing. And here he is out of the packaging. He came packaged in his jet mode. So of course I'll start off with him in his jet mode. He is pretty um, hefty. He does come with uh, a gun and a little sword that goes in the gun. It is relatively close to his uh, um, prime gun, but much smaller than it was in the cartoon. He does have retractable landing gear, which is pretty cool. Although with the gun on, it doesn't want to seem to sit on all three, but as soon as you take it off, it sits well enough on all three wheels. And then it also has an opening canopy which i think is absolutely amazing i don't know if the original transformers prime dreadwing had that capability or not but i will say it is much appreciated although i will say it bugs me to no end that they decided to make it a merge between the g1 character dreadwing and the or was it g2 uh, anyway but the older dreadwing and the prime universe instead of just making it one or the other just make up your mind anyway there is one little gimmick that I'd like to show off, which involves Decepticon Needle Nose, which I got right here. So all you do is just flatten these down, and you just plug him in right here. And there's two different spots that you could do it. As you can see, there's four of them, and there's only two, so you can have them slip sitting just a little further back or a little further forward, depending on your preference. On. Although it is a really tight fit, which is good because you don't necessarily want them falling off, but it is a very silly thing, reminiscent of the original uh, Dreadwing, which had um, uh, like a drone thing that went on there, which I think is kind of cool, although it was never Needle Nose. I, I don't know why they chose Needle Nose to do that, but whatever. It is a thing you can do. So obviously this is about it for the jet mode. I guess just give you a little bit more of a gander before we uh, get on to transformation. On to transformation. So here we have Dreadwing in his robot mode. Um, he is a fairly clean robot. I think he looks pretty cool from the front. It does look a little flat in the chest region. Um, definitely not as much of the prime design there. Um, the head is definitely, um, has some aspects of uh, prime, but also the original. I just don't understand why at this point in time they really think it fans seem to want merging of styles i mean that's what kind of classics and universe kind of tended to be but now people just want you know accurate to what they saw in the shows and all that the back looks pretty good there is a gap right up in there but that's not the biggest deal to me because you're not really looking at them from a top like that um there's not really any gaps as the uh, tail fin things fill that in i like how they have little covers for those they didn't have to have those flip in to you know 
hide uh, the hollow parts or the hands flip into. Uh, the chest doesn't open up any, at all, even though it seems like it looks like it should open up just a little bit, but no, it doesn't. And uh, that's pretty much about it as far as detail-wise. It is, it does, uh, the legs for the most part, except for the feet, and then the shoulders and arms are very Transformers Prime-esque, same with the wings to a degree, but the chest and hit face, those are the main areas that just do not fit the mold. It really just, just does not seem to fit the look of the character at all. Uh, which is why I held off on game for a while, but I saw him and he seemed like a relatively, well, it was retail, standard retail price, but still better than what I saw online for him. So I was never able to get a hold of the Transformers Prime one originally when he first released years ago, but I thought maybe I'd finally go ahead and see if this one was at all worth it. Um, he does come with this gun, obviously, and uh, it does have the little handle, so you can pretty much do it where he, he holds it in one hand and then like this. If I remember right, he held it kind of like on from underneath. I don't know if the toy will do it. Let's see. There we are. And then you would have, and this is why I do think it's cool that they had have butterfly joints, is that you can then have him kind of wield this unruly Thing. Well, not it's not completely unruly. Now, granted, it is probably kind of hard to get him to aim it quite properly, but you can kind of do it, and it it would look really cool only if this gun looks like it warranted being held with two hands. It is so small and dinky. It's just like, yeah, he could just easily hold it like this with one hand. He, he really doesn't need two hands for this thing. It's just so small. I mean, I understand that it has to be able to fit for the vehicle mode and all that. And then another thing, I think this is just kind of an homage to the uh, the auto converting, not exactly auto converting, but the converting weapons where they would be a gun and then you'd press a lever or something and then they would uh, have a blade flip out. So he does come with a little Energon sword, which I think is kind of cool. Although, let's see. Game the there we are. There's a little notch, and then you can hold it. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I guess one last thing, and before we wrap this up, just take a quick look at our articulation. It is on a ball joint, quite loose. Popped off on my first transformation. Can do a full 360. It doesn't have a very much wibbly wobbly. We can so much up and down. Arms go out that far can go out this far, can go in a little bit, bicep rotation, can bend that far at the elbow, wrist rotation, hip swivel, forward that far, back that far, over 90 degree bent at the knee, and you do get a little bit of ankle diltage. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for Transformers Legacy Evolution Dreadwing. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button to see more. Until next time, have a good one everyone.